They are iconic portraits of service men and women in their working environment, all taken by an iconic photographer. David Bailey visited Afghanistan in May, his subjects, not superstars, but ordinary members of the forces. His backdrop, not an air-conditioned studio, but Camp Bastion in the sweltering desert heat. The idea was his own, to raise money for help for heroes and to see for himself what life is like for those serving in Afghanistan. Yeah, this is pretty wild. I mean, it's exactly why, how I thought it would be, but like 5,000 times bigger. It's the size that was the first to uh, get lost here. And the people you've met along the way, what do you make of them? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. All of them. All of them. There was one American spin doctor that I wasn't mad about, but the rest were great. Some of his subjects dressed specially for the occasion. These Royal Engineers not in fancy dress, they are divers by trade. For all those photographed, it was an unexpected once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Uh, I didn't know till about 30 minutes before. Um, I thought we were going to do a, uh, a diving job, go out diving. Uh, and he said, oh no, actually David Bailey's coming along. So I wasn't really quite sure. I thought someone was winding us up, to be honest. It was good, actually, seeing uh, standing with the man, if you like, the legend that is uh, David Bailey. The portraits are unique mementos for those who were photographed. And five months on, David Bailey's pictures now grace the pages of GQ. The magazine's editor himself came to Afghanistan for the shoot. Hopefully we've, we've honoured the soldiers without overly glamorising them uh, or their situation. Um, and I hope they'll be pleased. I mean, I think, we've, I think the pictures are great, actually. I think it's that, uh, it's a, it was a very difficult situation because we didn't want to interfere. We didn't want to step on anyone's toes. This wasn't David Bailey's first taste of forces life. He served in Malaya with the RAF in the 1950s. This trip, a reminder of his life back then. We lived in a swamp on one of the places. And unless you were a sergeant and up, you didn't get a mosquito in there. So I got malaria there. But they were all right, they gave me a couple of aspirins. Just a handful of the pictures appear in GQ. Hundreds more of them have been compiled into a book, which will go on sale later this month. James Hurst, Forces News, London.